sales of high-end property has remained sluggish. Developers feel loan-to-value for home credit for is a heavy burden on second home buyers, keeping them away from premium property. Regulators, though, believe LTV can reduce caution in the property market. The domestic property market is looking good overall compared to last year, but high-end property sales remain languid. A property developer, Sumarikon Agung, acknowledges the situation. President Director of Sumarikon Agung, Adrianto Pitoyo Adi, says the company is shifting focus to affordable housing in order to boost sales. Di masyarakat di tahun 2016 ini belum belum pulih, makanya produk-produk yang akan kami luncurkan juga mendekati uh, tingkat kemampuan dari masyarakat pembeli. Ya, dan kita kerasa sekali kita punya di, di Kelapa Gading kan ada high end kita yang memang very slow ya karena orang sekarang juga menahan ya kan nunggu tax amnesty yang belum keluar-keluar gitu. Property developers must constantly adapt to market conditions to remain on course to reach sales targets. Until April this year, Sumanikon Agung has racked in 700 billion of its 4.5 trillion rupiah annual target. Ciputra Development has booked 1.1 trillion rupiah in sales revenue. Bumi Serpong Damai recorded 1.2 trillion rupiah. PP Property posted 550 billion rupiah, while Sentul City booked 158 billion rupiah. Meanwhile, Lipo Cikarang and Lipo Karawaci have posted business property sales revenue of 546 billion and 985 billion rupiah, respectively. Bank Indonesia says the low to value policy is key to maintaining quality banking property credit amid high interest for domestic property investment.